Sloppy Poppy meets. <laughs> <laughs> that's a thing? It's yes, a it is a thing. That's, that's um, huge. That's why he has such good experience. Sloppy. <laughs> 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 it's a little juicy. <laughs> All right, uh, this is uh, the brisket for tonight. It's a choice brisket from the Corner Butcher. This was a 44 hour process, 32 hours of smoking, 12 hours of prep with the brine, and it is 12 pounds, 18 inches. Right, here we go. It's hot, it's really hot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know for smoking if it would be easier. Mm -mm. Not necessarily. It cooks a little faster. I ordered. I shouldn't. Okay. You have serrated it. Do you have a serrated one? Yeah. Of well, the, I, and then I also paid for no, probably gravy. Not. I thought that, that was that hasn't been sharpened recently either though. Yeah. Uh, it's not uh, hard to sharpen. Just to um Woo. Woo. Alright, today we're on an adventure to find a brisket. Um we've done Wagyu brisket before. It's just a special order, and we need to have this brisket ready by Wednesday, which is two days from now, for a friend's giving. Um, I called the place I usually get Wagyu brisket from, and they are not able to get it in time. So we're on a treasure hunt right now. We're gonna check La Carniceria, that's the closest, and then if we can't find it there, we'll go to the butcher, Butcher's Corner, uh, which is another place that we frequent. Um, however, if we can't find Wagyu brisket, we're gonna get a regular brisket. And the hope is to find one 10 to 15 pounds, which will be the biggest brisket we've ever done before. Um, because it's for Friendsgiving and lots of people. Expectations are high now too with Sloppy Poppy. So um, with the regular brisket, um, we're gonna try and brine it, which we haven't done a brining video before. Um, but the way that brining works is you're soaking your meat in a solution of water and salt and typically some herbs and you're letting it sit in there for a while and something called diffusion happens which is similar to osmosis um, but not quite the same due to some molecular technicalities um, but you basically let it sit in there and the salt in the water helps the meat absorb um, and bind to the proteins at a better rate than if you were just sitting it in water. So it, it helps break it down, helps it become more juicy and adds a little bit of flavor. So we're hoping to make a video, doing some brining if we can't find the Wagyu. So stay tuned for that. striking out with the brisket today, but we were able to get 12 pounds of choice at the corner butcher shop. And they hooked it up with some other nice things too. So this is a great trip. We're gonna do our best with what we got.
The show must go on. Oh yeah, it's still going strong. Woo! Gotta be dedicated to the meat. More hours. More hours. We're gonna let it rest. Alright. This has been going on for eight or nine hours. It's up to temperature. It's time to wrap it. Let it rest for an hour. All the out. Yeah. <laughs>